This is going to be an overview explaining the various database operations that are available from within the Radon Report Manager. All in all, there are five different operations that can be performed. Exporting your database, importing your database, erasing your database, exporting your database to an Excel spreadsheet, and lastly, importing a WinSpur database. In order to perform and better explain these operations, let's head over to the setup window from the main menu, then click on the database tab. We'll see all of our possible database operations here. Let's start off with the most important database operation, exporting. Every time that you export your database, you're creating a digital snapshot of all your records, reports, customers, company information, etc. If your computer crashes or your hard drive gets fried, you'll be fine as long as you have recently exported your database and have it saved in a safe location. In short, exporting allows you to back up your database and it can be done simply by clicking on the Export Database button. After pressing this button, you'll be informed that the database was exported into the Backups directory, located within the Radon Report Manager's installation directory. And although this is a decent place to store your exported databases for a fair length of time, the best security for your data can be achieved by copying your exported database to an external source such as a flash drive, external hard drive, or even a CD. You can copy your exported database to an external drive or to a different location on the same computer by navigating to your installation directory and then heading into the backup subdirectory. This is where the Radon Report Manager stores your backed up databases and they'll be named according to the date when they were exported, although you are free to rename them if you so desire. If you export your database more than once on a given day, it will overwrite the one that you exported previously that day, unless you renamed it. Note that your exported databases in the backups directory will not be deleted when you uninstall the Radon Report Manager, provided you use Radilex's built-in uninstaller. It's really important to remember that you need to export your database before installing a newer version of the Radon Report Manager. If you forget to do this, you will lose all of your data. If there's just one thing that you remember from this video, let it be this. Always export your database before updating or uninstalling the Radon Report Manager. And also remember to export your database regularly, uh, just to protect yourself from unexpected hardware catastrophes, maybe say once a week. And I think that's pretty much it regarding exporting slash backing up your database. Next up, we'll move on to importing your database. Normally, you're only going to be using this feature after you've updated to a new version of the Radon Report Manager, but maybe you've decided to copy your database over to another computer or to your laptop. Regardless of your circumstances, importing your database should be a quick and easy operation. And once you get the hang of it, it shouldn't take more than a few seconds to accomplish. All right, let's get started. From the main menu, Click on the Setup button to go into the Setup window, then click on the Database tab. From here, click on the Import Database button. By default, the Radon Report Manager will look for databases in the Backup subdirectory, which is where your exported databases are created. If you are backup databases in another location, then you're going to have to navigate there and select it. Once you've found the database that you wish to import, left-click on it to select it, then click on the OK button. A few informational message boxes may appear depending on the version of the database that you're trying to import. Note that you may import a database from any older or current version of the Radon Report Manager, such as importing a database from 3.0.1 to 3.5.0, but you cannot import a database from a newer version into an older version such as from 3.5.0 to 3.4.9. Not that there'd really be a reason to do this anyways, at least that I can imagine. After this import process has completed, the program will need to close in order to finalize the procedure. When you relaunch it, all of your imported data will be there. Also, it's worth pointing out that you can only import an exported database into an instance of the Radon Report Manager which currently has a blank database. If your current Radon Report Manager's database is not empty, 
you'll receive a message telling you that you must erase your current database before importing another one. Moving onwards, let's discuss erasing a database. This feature should be used very sparingly, as it will completely erase all of your information. This means everything, all of your test records, customers, technicians, company information, etc., etc. If you have not exported your database before performing this operation, then all of your data will be irrevocably lost forever. As a safeguard, two warning message boxes will appear if you click on this button. They will each present you with a chance to abandon this operation so that it should be nearly impossible to accidentally erase your database. If you do decide to erase your database, the Radon Report Manager will need to close in order to finalize the procedure. But when you relaunch it again, it will be as if you had freshly installed the software and it will be a clean database with nothing on it. Okay, next up is the Export to Excel database operation which will export your entire database to an XLS spreadsheet. Just click on the button and a spreadsheet with all of your records will be created. Similarly to an exported database, this spreadsheet will be located in the backup subdirectory and will be named according to the date from when it was exported. Uh, feel free to rename the spreadsheet if you like and to move it wherever you'd prefer. If you open up the spreadsheet, you'll notice that it's organized into sheets one for each of the state-specific templates, along with a sheet that contains all of the test records in your database. As we continue to add new states to the state-specific templates, more sheets will appear in the spreadsheet. Lastly, we'll discuss importing a WinSpur database. As of version 3.5.0, this is the newest database operation to be added to the Radon Report Manager. It will allow each database, whether new or existing, to import an old WinSpur database once. By clicking on the button, a file dialog window will appear, prompting you to navigate to the location of your WinSpur database, which will be named epermdata.mdb. Unless you've moved it, your WinSpur database will be located in its installation directory. After you've navigated to this location, left click on the file named epermdata, then click on OK. Uh, be patient, as this data translation process can take quite a few minutes, depending on the size of your WinSpur database. After this process is complete, you will be prompted to close the Radon Report Manager to finalize the import. When you relaunch the Radon Report Manager, all of your WinSpur test records will now be located in your Radon Report Manager database. And I think that's pretty much it. We've discussed the five database operations that are available from within the Radon Report Manager, exporting, importing, and erasing databases, alongside exporting your database as a spreadsheet and importing a database from WinSpur. If there's one thing that you remember when you walk away from this tutorial, let it be to export your database on a regular basis. This alone will render you nearly immune to catastrophic data mishaps so it's important to export as often as possible. If you have any questions or concerns, feel free to contact Radilec at 1-800-526-5482.